Welcome to this Diodes Incorporated video presentation. In it we will look at some good electromagnetic design practices for switching circuits, in particular the AL8805 LED driver in an MR16 lamp. Our goal is to reduce radiated electromagnetic interference. All electronic products must pass electromagnetic compatibility requirements. In a switching circuit like this one, there are pulsed currents and voltages with some potentially very fast edges. Such pulses have energy across a broad spectrum, well beyond the fundamental switching frequency of the circuit. The radiated electromagnetic interference spectrum depends on many aspects of the system, including component selection and tolerance, circuit board layout, and external connections. The design engineer has most control over the PCB layout and the components used on it. It is important that these be optimized to reduce the resulting radiated emissions of the system by limiting noise at the source. In a buck regulator like this AL8805 circuit, AC switching currents can flow around in a loop. It is critical to make the area of this loop on the layout as small as possible. Part of this loop is through the local decoupling capacitor, which should always be placed as closely as possible to the chip. One of the most effective ways to reduce the radiation of the system is to stop noise from getting off the PCB onto any wires or external connections. The simplest way to do this is to use a capacitor as part of a filter. We should place the capacitor so that it provides the shortest possible path between the two connections. Here we can see the PCB power input traces, which provide a path for the power and return currents through the capacitor pads. This results in the lowest possible common mode impedance. The circuit on the board will have some series inductance in the current path, forming a filter network with the capacitor. Ground connections are also very important. The ground path contributes to the area of potential loop antennas on the PCB. Large and solid ground planes often give the shortest and lowest impedance return route. Any wiring attached to the PCB will tend to be a more effective antenna than the PCB itself, so reducing the length of any connected leads can help. However, this is often out of the designer's hands. Let's recap. Reduce the energy getting onto the leads with filters. Take care to shrink loops in the layout. Ensure that ground paths are short and solid. Minimize lead lengths. There's a lot of good reference material available, with some suggested reading shown here. For more information, please see Diodes Incorporated application notes and device datasheets at our website, www.diodes.com, or contact your Diodes Incorporated representative.